Now we're gonna talk about King and Pawn end games, and there are some positions that you absolutely have to know. Because some positions are theoretical position, which means a certain position, when you look at it, you already know the ending. It's gonna be either win, loss, or a draw. So, and in King and Pawn end games, they're, uh, they're quite specific, so you can calculate it until the end. So I'm gonna give some basic positions uh, from the beginning and then they're gonna get more complicated. But the theoretical positions, I hope by the end of the class, everyone knows them. So let's start with this position. Oops. White to move. So if you're raising your hand, I'm expecting you to give me a line. Don't just give me your one move and then expect me to tell you your opponent's move. So you have to calculate a line. Okay, so why do you wanna put your king here? Five. Okay. So why do you want to do this? And so if you move back to C five, then you can move your king to, um, to A four. Okay. So when kings are standing like this in front of each other, what is this called? Yeah. So what is opposition? Okay, so opposition is when kings are in front of each other and there's an odd number of square between them. So in this position, there is no opposition because there's two squares between them. That's an even number. So to have an opposition, that means the kings are in front of each other and it's your opponent's turn. So yes, it's bad to give up opposition because... So here, here, if the king goes to c5, why do we want to get opposition? Because how are we going to queen this pawn? Am I, which way is my king going? A3 or A4? A4. Guess not. Okay, A4. So the king has to go back. So again, one move that wins the game. Oh, yeah. Is it time to push the pawn? Do you want to push the pawn? No. No. Go ahead. So again, king B4. So king goes, let's say, here. So our opponent gave up opposition. So which way are we going? C5? Yeah. So king b7. Mm, not yet. King b5. King c7. You don't, you don't need to push your pawn. You'll have time to push your pawn. King a, oops. King a6. Okay, so who knows this position? This is, one, this is a theoretical position. One of the positions I was talking about. Is this a win or a draw? Win. It's a win. Why? Of course we're white. It does, does it matter whose move it is? No. So does it or not? So this is one of the positions that is a theoretical win for white. So remember this. If your king is on a sixth rank, in front of the pawn, except for the rook pawns. Rook pawns are different. So if your king is on the sixth rank in front of the pawn, it's a win. It doesn't matter where your pawn is, it doesn't matter whose turn it is, it's always a win. So if it's black's turn, now I can push my pawn. In this position, if it's white's turn, it's a win. If it's black's turn, it's also a win. So if it's white's turn, I mean, sorry, if it's black's turn, it's simple. A7, because, wait, what did I do? Oh, sorry, it's white to move here. Um, okay, in this position, if it's black to move, whichever way the king goes, you go the other way. And then you push your pawn. If it's, um, if it's white's turn, who can tell me the win? Someone who hasn't said anything yet. It's it's pretty simple calculation, very straightforward. C6. And then you queen your pawn. But let, let me go back to this position. Let me give something even simpler. Um, Block to move, win or a draw. 
Okay, what's the move that draws? What? So why do you want to go to... Why do you want to go to D8? Because if you go to D8 or E8, he has opposition. Exactly. So you're pa kind of passing the move to your opponent. So wherever your opponent goes, now you get the opposition. Kings are in front of each other. It's your opponent's turn. So this is another important position you absolutely have to know. So if king goes here, now you lose. You lost the game. Okay. So let's move on to Okay, so tell me what happens if it's white's turn and what happens if it's black's turn. Okay. Are you watching? Yeah. If it's white's turn, who has opposition? Black. So what's going to happen? Okay, who? Someone tell me the draw. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And then? Okay, I'm asking him, so let him go ahead. Right, remember, you have to follow your opponent's king. If you go in the opposite direction, again, you're going to lose. So king is 7, so I have to push my pawn, and then? King this. So king, if your opponent goes king d8, what would you do? Right, remember, 6 ranked in front of the pawn, and you know it's a win. So here you don't even have to worry about it. You don't have to wander. You don't have to doubt yourself. You know it's a win. That's why it's good to know this position. So the king goes to d7. And then white probably has to push the pawn. And then the drawing move is... Where? King go to e7. There's a pawn. So you have three moves. Well, four moves. Where? E8. So you don't want to go to E8 because when you go to E8, now I got opposition. And now it's your turn. So you have to move over and now I'm going to queen my pawn. So you have to go to D8. So in this position, it's your turn. So, so far you were good. The last move, this position, remember very well. This position, only move that draws the game. Any other game loses the game. Any other move loses the game. Okay, but let's go back to this position. What if it's block's turn? Yeah. How? Mm, hold on, let me change the move. Uh, oh. Okay, king c7. Mm -hmm. king okay, let's say d8. So king e8. Right, and now your pawn is going. Because king is 7 and the best thing is these are going to be your next three moves. Pawn here, here and here and your king protects all those squares. So you're just going to queen your pawn. Okay, let's try something a little more complicated. White to move. So this is a little tricky because it's our corner pawn. So the king may be stalemated. Yeah, so the good thing is here you have two extra pawns. So the good thing about having a lot of extra material is you can give some of it back. So the problem is if you want to bring your king to push this pawn, what's going to happen? Yeah. Stalemate. So now we're giving up one of our pawns. And we don't want to give up this pawn because it's always almost queening. But king f6. And in this position, whose move does it have to be for this to be a draw? 
luck. But now we push our pawn and we win the game. Why to move? You have an extra bishop. But what is your opponent trying to do? Yeah, if your opponent takes your pawn, it's a draw. So what is the first move we have to look at? We have to stop our opponent from playing king, king c4 and taking the pawn. So what's the move that stops that? There's only one move that stops it. I mean, everyone has to come up with this move, even if you, you think it's not a good move. What's the move that pawn stops king coming to c4? Yeah. Right, so this is your only chance to win the game. And this is one of the most important things you always have to ask yourself. What am my opponent trying to do? Because if you make a careless move, then it's a draw game. You have an extra bishop and a pawn and you don't win. Okay, bishop d5. So again, your opponent wants to take your pawn. So what's your move? Go ahead. King, Very good. Okay, so let, let me see if you can win this position. So I go back. So what's your next move? Uh, one, okay, and now you have to make a very important move. Something I talked about in the beginning, 15 minutes ago. Opposition. Yeah, and in pawn endgames, this is a very important concept. You don't move your pawns unless you know that you're going to win the game. Because a lot of times, those pawn moves are going to matter at the end. You can move your pawn later. Your pawn's not going anywhere. So you first, you have to make sure your pawn can queen. You clear the path for your pawn, and then you push it. So king here, and then continue. So your opponent gave up opposition, so which way is your king going? King. Not five. Your king went, his king went this way, your king has to go... Six. Exactly, this six, because you're trying to queen this pawn. Okay, let's say the king, not there. The king goes back. So go ahead. Remember, there's a rule we learned. If the king is on the sixth rank, right, and now in this position you already know it's a win. King on the sixth rank in front of the pawn and it's a win. So king here, now king goes. Very good. And now you queen your pawn. So very good. Um, so this rule, of course, doesn't apply to the rook pawn because rook pawns are very dryish. And, and the reason, and the reason is when your king comes here, mm, when your king comes here, I don't have the extra space on the right to go right. So I have to play here, and it's just a draw. For rook pawns, as long as your king gets in front of it, it's a draw. White to move. But this one is a little challenging. I know my pawn is under attack, but can you capture it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Me? In the back. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, King What's your move? Okay, so now, okay, does anyone else have an answer? So someone says king e4, someone says king f4. So only one move works. Go ahead. Oh, I you king f4. King f4. So what's wrong with king f4? What is black going to do? Go ahead. King b5, king f3. <coughs> and then? Can you continue? No? Why not? They're trying to qu queen your pawn, so where should your king go? Your king has to help your pawn. C4, see you can do it. King E2, now? King C3 or push the pawn? King C3. King D1, and now one more important move. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, king d3. And whichever way the pawn goes, I mean the king goes, you go the other way. Okay, so going back to the initial position. So king f4 doesn't work. So someone else suggested king e4. What's the purpose of this move? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. You tell me the move. Right. Because when we took on f4 right away, we allow the king to come back from the other side. So your king is shouldering you. So king e4. So whichever way the king goes, you take that pawn. And you stay in the square of the pawn. Does anyone know the rule of this? Everyone know the rule of the square? Is there anyone who doesn't know the rule of the square? So no one ever raises their hand, so <laughs> no answer. So what's the square of this d4 pawn? If you don't know the rule of the square, raise your hand and I'll explain it. Okay, the rule of the square. I don't know why okay, so the rule of the square. So we draw a square from where the pawn is to where the pawn is going to promote. So we count one, two, three, four. Does everyone know what a square is? Yeah. Yes, okay. It's a good start. And then we count one, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is the square of the pawn. So if you have a pawn that's going to a queen, you, um, and if your opponent's king is in the square, that means it's going to catch the pawn. So you draw the square, and you see if, the, pawn, if um, the king is in the square. If the king is not in square, then you know you'll queen your pawn. And also, if you're trying to stop your opponent's pawn, you draw the square, and you see if you can catch it. Because if you're not in the square, then you're not going to be able to catch it. So now, when you do this, you're in the square of the pawn. Also, you can, um, you can also draw a diagonal and draw the square like this. So now, I'm in the square, right? Because this is the square of the pawn, and I'm right there. OK, so, so let me go over this again. So remember this position, so King F4, So remember this position. So in this position, it's blocked to move. But in this position, let's say I push my pawn. <coughs> Same position now, whose turn is it? It's white to move. So what is white going to do? King d2, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So do we have to wrap it up? <coughs> OK. So we're getting the same position, but it's your turn instead of it being your opponent's turn. So this one little move makes a difference. So because you, when you play king e4, what happens to your opponent's position? He doesn't have a good move, right? Either he has to go uh, give up the opposition, you get the pawn, and then you get the other pawn, or he has to push the pawn. And now you save the move. So look at this again. So you take the pawn. If you take the pawn, your opponent plays here. This position, his turn, but then when you play king e4, and then he gives up the pawn, same position, it's your turn. So you were able to save a move and save the game. And when it comes, oops, I didn't mean to do that. And when it comes to this pawn endgames, this is very, very important. Every move makes a difference, because it's always, it always comes down to a matter of one move. 
Because in a lot of positions we saw, if it's your turn, you win, your opponent's turn, it's a draw. So it's very important for you to be able to count these moves.